From Siri to self-driving cars, AI is progressing rapidly. While science fiction often portrays AI as robots with human-like characteristics, it can encompass anything from Google's search algorithms to autonomous weapons. Artificial intelligence today is known as narrow AI since it's designed to perform a narrow task, for example, only internet searches or only driving a car. However, the long-term goal of many researchers is to create general AI, AGI. AGI would outperform humans at nearly every cognitive task and that has some people very very worried Elon's concerns from challenging world leaders to one-on-one -on -one combat to single-handedly taking over the space industry it's clear that Elon Musk isn't phased by much but if there's one thing that has always kept Tesla's CEO on his toes it's AI back in 2020 Elon shared his concerns about the biggest project in AI right now Google's DeepMind Elon Musk believes that DeepMind is a top concern when it comes to artificial intelligence speaking to the New York Times Elon said just the nature of the AI that they're building is one that crushes all humans at all games. I mean, it's basically the plot line in war games. In war games, a teenage hacker connects to an AI-controlled government supercomputer trained to run war simulations. In attempting to play a game titled Global Thermonuclear War, the AI convinces government officials that a nuclear attack from the Soviet Union was imminent. Elon also told the New York Times that his experience of working with AI at Tesla means he can confidently say we're headed toward a situation where AI is vastly smarter than humans. The Tesla CEO believed that the time frame would be less than five years. That doesn't mean everything goes to hell in five years. It just means that things get unstable or weird, he said. Surprisingly, Elon was actually an early investor in DeepMind, which according to reports, sold to Google in 2014 for over $500 million. In a 2017 interview, Elon said that he made the move to keep an eye on booming AI developments, not for a return on investment. It gave me more visibility into the rate at which things were improving, and I think they're really improving at an accelerating rate, far faster than people realize, he said in the interview, mostly because in everyday life you don't see robots walking around, maybe a Roomba or something, but Roombas aren't going to take over the world. But Elon thinks that artificial intelligence should have a different connotation. I think generally people underestimate the capability of AI. They sort of think it's like a smart human, Elon said in an August talk with Alibaba CEO Jack Ma at the World AI Conference in Shanghai. But it's going to be much more than that. It'll be much smarter than the smartest human. In the Times interview, Elon said that it's arrogance that keeps very smart people from realizing the dangers of AI. My assessment about why AI is overlooked by very smart people is that very smart people do not think a computer can ever be as smart as they are, he said. And this is hubris and obviously false. Building machines that are just as smart as humans is widely regarded as the holy grail of AI. But some, including Elon, are concerned that machines will go on to quickly outsmart humans when human-level AI is achieved. In 2016, Oxford professor and superintelligence author Nick Bostrom said he believed DeepMind is winning the global AI race. Asked about the matter again earlier this year, Bostrom told CNBC they certainly have a world-class, very excellent, large, and diverse research team. But it's a big field, so there are a number of really exciting groups doing important work. At the Beneficial AI Conference in 2017, Elon and DeepMind CEO Demis Hassabis sat on a panel alongside Nick Bostrom, Skype co-founder Jan Tallinn, Google Engineering Director Ray Kurzweil, Berkeley University computer scientist Stuart Russell, and several others. At the start of the panel, titled Superintelligence, Science or Fiction, everyone agreed that some form of superintelligence is possible, except Elon. However, he appeared to be joking. Asked whether it will actually happen, everyone said yes. When asked if they would like superintelligence to happen, Hasabi said yes, while others gave a more nuanced, it's complicated. DeepMind was purchased by Google with one goal, to constantly evolve and learn. The supercomputer is said to be able to learn at a rate much faster than humanly possible. DeepMind is capable of quite a selection of things like navigation, learning games, and basically growing at an extremely rapid rate. Google uses DeepMind in order to help them predict certain moves that their users are going to do before doing it. One way Google uses DeepMind is when you type a certain text, DeepMind then provides you with possible related texts. DeepMind was described to win at any particular game playing them at super speed and at superhuman abilities. For example, when it was tasked to beat the library of Atari games, it learned to understand the games without changing the code. After some time, the AI could play the games better and with more efficiency than humans. DeepMind's research covers everything from climate change to healthcare and finance, 
In partnership with the European Bioinformatics Institute EMBL EBI, DeepMind launched its Alpha Fold Protein Structure database in 2021. Intelligence allows DeepMind to learn, imagine, cooperate, create, communicate, and so much more. By better understanding different aspects of intelligence, one can use this knowledge as inspiration to build novel computer systems that learn to find solutions to difficult problems on their own. Better, faster, smarter. Determined to create AI agents that could better address the limitations of human intelligence, DeepMind created Xland. In addition to having a bigger range of possible games to work on, these agents will now be able to deal with entirely new situations and challenge themselves with new games and tasks such as ones they have never seen before. The DeepMind AI agents are represented by 3D virtual avatars that reside in a multiplayer online environment meant to mimic the physical world. Player surroundings are assessed through RGB images and they learn how to interact with different games games and genres. According to DeepMind, in contrast to traditional top-down approaches, the agents make frequent attempts at self-betterment through trial and error, exploring different states in search of satisfying outcomes. The systems displayed a wide range of patterns rather than highly optimized and specific patterns for specific tasks. Outside of playing games, DeepMind was used to improve power efficiency in the already optimized data centers at Google. DeepMind was able to improve on the efforts of previous specialists by 15% making a 40% reduction in cooling costs. It's also been used in developing Google Assistant and helps create personalized app recommendations in Google Play. When talking about DeepNet and other forms of AGI, it's really, really hard not to think about Skynet from the Terminator movies. In John Connor's world, Judgment Day was triggered by the AI Skynet becoming self-aware and going rogue. The question is, do we share the same fate? Most researchers agree that a super-intelligent AI is unlikely to exhibit human emotions like love or hate, and that there's no reason to expect AI to become Become intentionally benevolent or malevolent. When considering how AI might become a risk, experts think of two scenarios, the AI being programmed to do something devastating or the AI being programmed to do something beneficial, but ending up developing a destructive method to achieve its goal. Autonomous weapons are AI systems that are programmed to kill. In the hands of the wrong people, these weapons could easily cause mass casualties. On top of that, an AI arms race could inadvertently lead to an AI war that also results in mass casualties. To avoid being thwarted by by the enemy, these weapons would be designed to be extremely difficult to simply turn off, so humans could plausibly lose control of such a situation. This risk is already present even with narrow AI, but grows as levels of AI intelligence and autonomy increase. Good intentions, bad decisions. AI becoming unintentionally destructive can happen whenever we fail to fully align the AI's goals with ours, which is actually insanely difficult to do. If you ask an obedient intelligent car to take you somewhere as fast as possible, it might get you there with the bloody windshield and the cops on your tail, doing not what you wanted but literally what you asked for. If a super-intelligent system is tasked with an ambitious geoengineering project, it might wreak havoc with our ecosystem as a side effect and view human attempts to stop it as a threat to be met. If left unchecked, a seemingly tame project like DeepMind has all the potential to go dark side. AI scientists and experts are working tirelessly to keep such scenarios from happening, so let's hope that they get it right. Our lives depend on it. An immediate threat. For all the good that it brings, AI poses a ton of threats, and they're not all centered around sentient robots and killer drones. The most immediate concern for many is that AI-enabled systems will replace workers across a wide range of industries. AI brings mixed emotions and opinions when referenced in the context of jobs. As has happened with every wave of technology, from the automatic weaving looms of the early industrial revolution to the computers of today, we see that jobs are not destroyed, but rather employment shifts from one place to another, and entirely new categories of employment are created. We can and should expect the same in the AI-enabled economy. Research shows it's inevitable that AI will replace entire categories of work, especially in transportation, retail, government, professional services employment, and customer service. On the other hand, companies will be freed up to put their human resources to much better, higher-value tasks instead of taking orders, fielding simple customer service requests or complaints, or data entry-related tasks. Conclusion Disinformation and mass surveillance have also become serious concerns of late. If we don't solve these problems now and build ethical AI, implications down the road can be a lot darker than people realize. Do we really trust companies to do the right thing? 
Do we trust governments to do the right thing? Like Elon, most of us are super skeptical about the rise of AI, and rightfully so. There will always be a few bad eggs who will try using AI to influence, infiltrate, and manipulate. But enterprises, organizations, and citizens should keep asking questions, keep working towards building ethical AI, and keep trying to fight automated bots and malicious attacks because AI is coming, whether we're ready or not. Well, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, welcome to the future.